What's up, Indian Nation? I did an interview with the Spanish club at Biloxi High School. For the Spanish club, um, students simply need to have either be taken, taking or have taken Spanish. Um, they do not have to speak Spanish um, or be a fluent Spanish speaker. Uh, but what we generally try to do is we try to discuss different things that we want to uh, talk about. Um, we try to have something for Hispanic heritage. This year we put we made slides about different Hispanic um, things in Hispanic culture and we had those put up on the uh, announcements. We have in the past had um, topics that we researched about Spanish culture and had songs that we um, would uh, share with one another um, about the culture. We tried to do um, different celebrations for things like Dia de los Reyes, which is Three Kings Day, and Cinco de Mayo, as well as Dia de los Muertos, which is uh, Day of the Dead. Um, well, what we try to focus on is not just language, but also culture for Hispanic um, heritage, and just to bring an appreciation of Hispanic culture to the community and to other students and to spread awareness of that culture um, in, around the Biloxi campus. One thing that we are hoping to try to do in the future is to work with students, not necessarily um, on a tutoring per se, but it is kind of tutoring, but we want to try to do like a game day where students um, can play games to uh, prepare for um, quizzes and tests that they have. So instead of it being, okay, I'm not doing well on this, um, trying to get better, we want to try to catch it before they start doing poorly. So we want to maybe just have a kind of a game day to go over vocabulary and words with students um, that are taking myself and Miss I mean uh, Miss Taylor for Spanish one and two. Spanish club. I am the president of Spanish club, so I'm responsible for leading our meetings and for um, brainstorming new ideas for us to do as a club, and you know, getting input from all of the members and just you know, determining like what direction we want to go in for whatever we're doing. Um, I joined Spanish Club in ninth grade, so that's four years ago since I'm a senior. Um, I wanted to, I was taking a Spanish class and it was my first year and I really wanted to kind of explore the language and the culture at, you know, another level than what we just learned in class. Um, most recently we created some a uh, presentation of sorts about our Hispanic holidays and prominent Hispanic figures for Hispanic Heritage Month, looking at things that maybe you've celebrated on your own, like Christmas through a different light, and how those um, traditions can vary and the significance that they have really promotes that understanding of. I think the Spanish Club is a great club for anyone who is interested in learning Spanish, who loves learning Spanish, and wants to explore it in a new way. We don't spend our time going over, uh, you know, this is how you say this word significance of the language as a whole and the meaning behind it and how, you know, this very vibrant and diverse culture interacts with this language. So if that any of that is interesting to you, if you're interested in more than just learning the grammar and vocab in class, then Spanish Club is the perfect place for you. Because I want it to grow in community and I want it to represent my culture more. Because I just I just signed up and it was actually my Senora Bell, she was my teacher and she just invited me to join, so that was kind of cool. And this club promotes awareness by celebrating the Hispanic culture and embracing it, of course, and sharing it with others. I would recommend this club because it just, it's, we have so much fun. We do activities, we embrace the Spanish culture and we just have so much fun and like we get to like um tell each other like we get to have fiestas which is like parties and bring different foods from different culture so i think that's pretty cool